The equipment you will need to perform reproducible jointing of Volcathene Mechanical includes a pipe cutter, a grooving tool, Volcathene lubricant, two Volcathene spanners and gloves. It is important to make sure the pipe is cut clean and square. A wheel cutter is best for this job. However, as an alternative, a carpenter's saw could be used, but this will create swarf. A saw is often used on larger diameter pipes. To achieve full joint integrity, it is necessary that a groove is cut around the pipe using the grooving tool. Fully insert the pipe into the grooving tool, then adjust the depth of the cutting blade to half of its maximum and revolve the cutting tool anti-clockwise around the pipe. Now adjust the cutting tool to its full depth and repeat the anti-clockwise movement. When it is completed, retract the blade and remove the tool, making sure that any swarf that has been created is removed. Never try to cut the full groove with one operation. Place the nut onto the pipe, then slide the no-heat olives wide end into place with the tongue locating into the groove in the pipe. Before jointing the pipe and fitting it together, it's important to make sure that the fitting is clean. Once this is done, smear Volcathene lubricant onto the threads of the fitting. Now assemble the joint by pushing the pipe into the fitting and starting to hand tighten the knurled nut. Fully seal by using two Volcathene spanners to further tighten the joint. It's important that the nut is tightened to its full thread capacity. The Volcathene mechanical joint is now complete.